Everybody and welcome back. It's Jeff again, and I am playing back on the Minecraft server. And basically, what this episode was going to be was I had some great video responses from a couple of my videos from uh, somebody named I Am Mind Bandit, and uh, he had some great suggestions for some things for me, especially regarding my locker situation in in my fire station. And I was actually just going to get some supplies together in order to put his suggestions to use and I came down to get some iron because I need some iron for it and I kind of broke into this uh this cave that sounds oh that sounds pretty intense down here but I didn't want you guys to miss out on the fun and therefore I started recording that was a weird whoa no no and therefore I uh I stopped whoa whoa no 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 there was some lag there. That kind of sucked. Mm, whatever, I guess I can blame it on myself, but it's okay. I'm right here in my house. I just went down here where I put the spider spawner, which is working actually, by the way. Um, there are spiders that are spawning in there to give me some string so I can get some wool. But hopefully soon enough we will not need that because what will happen is we'll be updating at some point soon so we can hopefully venture out and not have to wait need to get to that sword good I got that sword where's everything man there's a lot of zombies down here why is it raining through all this stuff that's what I want to know hey maybe I'll get whoa holy crap there's a lot of zombies and they are kicking my ass let me get all my stuff back here Hopefully regen some health. I need to get my torches on my bar. Man, look at all these zombies. It's like more zombies than I've ever seen. And there's a skeleton hiding around the corner. I see him. He's got an arrow in his head. Oh no, he doesn't. He was just happened to be standing in a spot where there was an arrow. Um, but anyway, the point of this episode is to try to get around and get some iron and get this uh, locker situation taken care of. I'm going to grab some coal and stuff while I'm down here. I'll try to do that off video. I'm just more looking for the iron and to see what this is. Is this a ravine? Huh. It is a ravine. So apparently this ravine runs through my house. My house area. And uh, I'm not against that. But it ends right here. So that makes it kind of weak. Oh, get past this water. So I know I started up a new world to tide us over until the uh, until the either an update comes out or until we update the server so we can continue on with uh, with playing and actually adventuring out. And you know, somebody posted me the most simple suggestion ever, and they said, "Why did you start this world up as a normal world and not?" update to a pre-release for this and you know what you are absolutely correct I, I have no idea why I decided to start doing that on a normal non-updated world as opposed to updating to a pre-release so if I continue that on I think I'm actually going to start it over and do it on a 1.9 pre-release so that we get the best of the best of everything we can hope for but there has been talk and possibility of updating the Minecraft server to a pre-release version um, instead of waiting for the official Minecraft release to come out. So if we do that, that world will kind of be null and void. Um, I might come back to it at a later date, who knows. So that seems to be all that this really was. Got a couple pieces of iron out of it, I mean, that's that's cool. But I was hoping this ravine would be a lot more intense than than this especially the fact that I didn't know it was a ravine until like 10 seconds ago you know and you know there's gotta be more stuff up here did I bring blocks I brought cobble 
guess I can tard pillar up and uh and kind of see what's what's up higher in this thing. So this is the top. There's lots of coal. I kind of want to get over here and get some of this coal and then move on to a uh, further area of this ravine. Um, I'm really surprised at the the lack of resources that were that were down here. Actually, coming into this to find this, I think I found eight pieces of coal or something like that, and I've only found three in this entire ravine sticking out through the wall. That's kind of funny. Um, you know, I've got so much cobble uh, in general. I guess instead of wasting time digging, I can. I can dig around, or uh, just build around this stuff and see what I can find here. Huh. Stupid sticky keys. I still have no idea what the sticky keys are for. They don't even make sense to me. Why would you call them sticky keys anyway? Like, what kind of name is that? Sticky keys? You gonna beep at me if my shift key sticks? I mean, what's the deal? I know somebody's gonna comment on exactly what the need of sticky keys actually is in the real world. And actually feel free, because I have absolutely no idea. Well, there's some iron over there. And of course I'm gonna run out of ability to tard pillar. <laughs> so I'm gonna kinda run around this ravine and collect some resources and uh hopefully get enough iron to do what I would like to do and I'll either join you guys when I'm on my building excursion or when I am finding more good stuff in this ravine so I will see you guys in a little bit so folks I am back and I've gotten myself a decent amount of iron not enough to finish exactly what I want to finish Ooh, I hit my mouse sorry uh, exactly what I want to finish I don't think but uh, we're gonna find out here so what this is going to be is, let's see, oh yeah, that'll work out perfect. Um, how much does this cut into my ambo bay? Not too bad. So I'm going to make these, <clears throat> excuse me, these lockers I think are going to be this right here. Let's start crap. We'll start off just going up to this end, exactly where I'm at now, and um, see how these three end up working out. I guess I should replace this with something. With something different. I should probably replace it with smooth stone to keep it all the same. I don't have any smooth stone on me. I do have some smooth stone over here. But again, this gentleman's name is I Am Mind Bandit, and uh, He's giving me some suggestions on not only on my lockers, but also on my five. And I'm going to try to do some things with the five. It's going to be a work in progress because nothing I can seem to put together seems to be that perfect of a, a scenario like I want it to be. But, but he is giving me some great suggestions through video responses. Oh, I'm almost dead. I didn't even realize that. I mean, I'm not almost dead. I'm almost out of food, I should say. Kind of eat some bread here. There we go. Full health bar it up. I have to go make me a trip over to the wheat farm at some point here. We're gonna see how this looks while leaving this. Um, oh, I need a doorway too. Hmm. Through my pole. I will figure that out at a later time. But basically, what he likes. Or what what his idea was, which I think is a great idea and perfect for this uh, this scenario. Let me cover this ground back in here. Is to make it so I have a locker that consists of a workbench down at the bottom in each locker and a chest up at the top. He suggests I keep like buckets or something like that in this chest and. Um, basically put down some 
some doors like so and a pressure plate. Do I want the pressure plate right there? Actually, that's not how he had them opening up. Oh, he had it much more compact. I know what he did. He did. Let me just do a couple of these here. To show this off. Because it was really, really good. And it's not what I just did. <laughs> and I... Smooth stone. I guess I can replace that with smooth stone while I'm here. He had it set up so that there was a door like this. There we go. Keep it much more compact here. And even so much as to go to. What did he have at the top of these things? Hold on, I'll be back. Alright, guys, I'm back. I have to go look at his video again and see what his. Um, his other part of his suggestion was, which uh, which I think is like perfect too, but basically he has figured out that if you take a half slab, <clears throat> excuse me, you can put the half slabs up top, even over top of these lockers, and you can still open chests with half slabs there. So I think that's pretty awesome. It uh, makes the space nice and compact, and I don't think I can place a door the way I have things set up as it is now. Do I have any dirt on me? I do. Oh, and I have gravel all over the floor. But if I go up here, can I still place these doors? Oops, I guess I gotta get them into my... Yep, I can do it from up here. I just covered something up with that half slab and I don't know what it was. Somehow I went into the middle. That wasn't my half slab. Oh, I put a stone pressure plate down. That was weird. It's not what I was trying to put down at all. Oh, I guess I had that in my inventory instead and that would be why. I guess it makes sense. If that's what you choose, that's what's gonna be. So let's put that back. These. Oh, oh, oh. Top this all off. There we go. And let's get these pressure plates here and here. And I think that's perfect. So everybody's got like individual lockers here that they can uh, they can play with. I need to leave myself one row for escape from the pole. I wonder if I should move my pole. No, except my water would be different. How would I do that? I might have to revamp this pole in order to to fit right in here. How would I do that here? I can't get up there. How could I? Well, no, that's gonna hold on. Let me try a bucket. I need a bucket. Let me get rid of some of this stuff here. What do I, I don't need this wood, this, 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 this. That's enough for now. Found my bucket. There's my bucket of water. Um, which I guess for what I'm doing, I can just put more water there and pick it all up. There we go. Now let's, let's just take away this pole and see. Because if I move the pole toward the wall and then make my waterfall, my water catch on a different spot, it might work out a little bit better. We're going to see here. Because I want to line this whole back row with uh, with these lockers. So I need something where I can go take this. Can I build just up like this? Oh, that's not going to look right, is it? Because... You know, that's probably not going to end up working in the future because of the fact that it's going to make them all connect to that wall. Hmm. 
and we'll figure that out because I really like this locker idea. So if I go up here, <clears throat> goodbye sign. Hello, son. Wait. Hello, son. Hello, sign. Ooh. There we go. But now I need to make the water stay in this area. Which I don't quite know how to do. Can I put a sign right on the pole? I might be able to do that. That might that might work. Oh, too much. Too high. Too high. There we go. Oh, that might work perfectly. And I can write right there on the sign anything I want to write. Oh, I think I like this. I am bandit or I am mind bandit. You are a genius, man. I love this uh this locker setup. These stairs may have to move to somewhere else, because right now this only gives me ability to, to put a couple of these right here. So this is going to definitely be a work in progress, but uh, but I like where it's going. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to lose that if I leave that there, aren't I? I can't remember what, what how it is that you have to break those doors with, what tool you have to break those doors with in order to make them work properly. Why can't even uh, get up there? Nope. I'll need dirt or something that I... Oh, I thought I got rid of it. I did not. But I still can't get up there. <laughs> I'm good at this game. Oh, c come on now. Ugh. Let's just let's just take these out for for a second, just so I can get this one door on. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Put a little pressure plate right here. Now, what I want to look better: pressure plate there or pressure plate? right up at the door. Oh, I can't put it right up at the door. Never mind. I guess this will have to do. I like it. I really like it. Now, um... How can I make this so that they... Because I, I can get more lockers in right here. Oh, no, that'll block my ambulance bay. I can't do that. So got a couple lockers there. I could make them closer together. He showed me a whole double design too, and how to do this. And I guess if they're right here, it doesn't really. Well, I might be able to extend my building out one. Either way, I'm gonna revamp. Actually, if I can get rid of these stairs and make a different way up, and um, and just put more lockers here on this back wall. I might do that. I might just, uh. Oh, I got out here exactly my pig. How would I. Get out of my way, pig. No, you can't come inside. No. Bad pig. What would be the best way to get upstairs? Oh, you know what? I could just make stairs that go up right here and go up to the top. That'll work. What am I breaking? What am I getting? Just normal blocks. There we go. So if I get some some lockers placed over here. Do I need that door out there anymore? Or should I make it different? You know, let's well let's not kill it yet, but let's uh We'll fix it from the from the other side. 
Well, that'll give me one there and one there. Or I can just leave that doorway. Or I could make it like so that this is the doorway. I would need this to be one further out then. Or I could. This is all a work in progress, if you can't tell. I haven't uh, figured out anything with dimensions over here or anything like that. Do I like that it's one off? I do like that it's one off the wall. But that limits me in one locker space right here. So the poles there, they, they cut some of this out. Maybe do three and three and just move this door. That might actually work pretty well. Three on each side of the pole. And I think it'll just move my door to over in this corner. Oh, pig. If I were to close that up, that's going to be another locker space. One, two, three, and then this. Can now be my entrance to the outside. But these will be lockers. So before I go screw up completely here, let's uh let's get up top. Let's place these doors properly. Pressure plates down so I can place stuff. Okay. I did something wrong with that one. We'll fix that in a minute. I think it was oriented. jump up from the corner so it's not catching on anything. That should work. There we go. Then we'll take my stone slabs. Boop, boop. So now look, I got a six locker set up here in my uh, my engine bay. I think it looks pretty good. Now we just gotta figure out how to do how to make these stairs again. So I don't have any stairs. So I've got 20 stairs to play with. And if I want, is that the edge of the roof right here? I think it is. That was also a stair. Mm. Mm. I definitely need my stairs to start here in the corner. I can always have them turn at some point, maybe? Over my... Hmm. How am I going to do this to get back up top? Unless I can make the stairs still... I mean, what happens if I take out this retainer wall? might just get opened up a little bit. I don't know. I have the stairs that go 
up from here. So what I need to make that work. It would need to be... It would need to start over here. Oh, and I can't get up there. Oh, it's because it's a half block. Well, either way, this is definitely a work in progress. And, um... As you can tell. And that's not quite going to work how I wanted to. Those are half steps. I can just make it. Can I just make it over here? No, because that leads right up to this side of stairs too. Well, basically, long story short, I'm gonna have to figure out another way up top, and. Um, what I've got going is not going to be sufficient for how I want this to end up uh, just to get upstairs and but I'll figure that out and and right now my bed is like trapped up there I mean I can always get up to it through <laughs> through dropping uh dropping some gravel down or something like that and jumping up there we'll figure something out but I really like this locker design tell me what you guys think and um, and also his suggestion was to keep, which I'll need more iron for, but to keep some, you know, in each one of these is going to basically be kept buckets of water, you know, the typical firefighting gear, uh, maybe some tools, like some picks and things like that to represent, picks and axes and things like that, that, you know, could be looked like they're used on the fire ground. Um, but anyways... Thank you to I Am Mind Bandit. Much appreciated suggestion. I really like it. I wish it wasn't raining in my house. Um, if you have any suggestions for how to how to um, waterproof my my roof here, that would be awesome. Because uh, you know I have a feeling my my shingles are getting all destroyed. Um, doing something wrong with them here, pig. Damn you! You don't get to fight fire. Get away, pig. Yeah. I will keep you though, because I might need breeding soon. So you will stay in this house. So, thanks for watching guys. I will see you guys next time.